At Rathmines Public School, teachers work closely together to implement a very engaging program that enables all children to be successful. Daily practice of reading and writing strategies along with phonics and phonemic awareness are used to support the children so that they can develop into confident readers and writers. Each morning in kindergarten, we begin the day with a reading warm-up. As the weeks progress, we will add a spelling warm-up as well. As we progress further into the term, we will also add a writing warm-up. In these warm-ups, the children are introduced to new words, and this is called their vocabulary. The one of the first words they'll be introduced to is the word graph. The word graph is used instead of the word sound. Also, another word that they'll be introduced to is the word digraph. This word is used instead of the word double sounds. As a parent or carer, as you're helping to support your child with reading, using the words graphs and digraphs will help them understand how they're going to break up their words and learn to use them in their writing as well. As part of our reading and spelling warm-ups, as we begin to introduce new words like graph and digraph, we will also introduce new visual cues to help the children with those. When we start to introduce new strategies like blending and segmenting, we also use visual cues to help the children remember these so that they can use them in both their reading and writing. The video that's coming up will show you how the children use these visual cues as they say them so that they can memorise what they need to do when they come across this in their reading and writing. This is the letter W. What? 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 This is the letter V. <laughs> what is a digraph? Two letters, one sound. Okay, this is the digraph. <laughs> With each strategy that we introduce in reading and writing, each strategy is usually complemented with a chant and a visual cue. So they may use their hands to work out a word. So if they're blending a word, like the word chook, they might be going ch, u, k. If they're going to break a word into its sounds and syllables, k, a, t, they're stretching the word and breaking it up so they can hear the sounds. These are great strategies for you to use at home to help your child with their reading and writing. Wax, wax, wax. Tom, t o n tom. Vowel, v a l o vowel. Sight words are a really important part of reading and writing. Sight words need to be memorised. They can't be sounded out, and they have to be done by constant repetition. We do sight words each day in the classroom, but they also need to be practiced daily at home. The more your child practices their sight words, the more familiar they will become with them and the better readers they will become also. Finally, the connection between becoming a reader and a writer will start to progress. From all of their strategies that they're learning in their daily warm-ups and their shared readings, they will naturally want to take the process further and become writers. They'll start experimenting with sounds, and they'll start using their graphs and digraphs in their writing. Okay, Mia, we're going to do some writing together. When we write, what do we need to do? We need to write from left to right. Okay, can you show me where the left is? Good girl. So we need to think about what we're going to write. What would you like to write? My mum has a baby. Let's clap that sentence together first so we can. My mum has a baby. So we're going to need lots of words in there. So we're going to start from left to right. We're going to write the word I. My mum has a, a baby. Let's finish that off. Great job. Let's read and check. My mum has a baby. What do we need to show everyone that we've finished our sentence? Good. Could you put that in there for me? And there's one more thing we're going to do before we finish. At the beginning of this, the sentence, we need a capital letter. We do need, oh, we need to fix it here over the mm. Do you have a capital letter? Yes. Do you have spaces between your words? Yes. Do you have an ending mark? Yes. Is your sentence making sense? Yes. So you have got all of the four things well done. Good job.